Hello there, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van. And if you're new here, my name's Ian and this is Travelling From Scratch. Thanks very much for tuning in today. Uh, if you have just discovered this channel, it's your first time here, you might want to go check out my previous videos and this will make this video make a lot more sense. This is sort of a th part three of a three part video where I've reinstated some secret storage space or some hidden storage space that's under the step in my eldest CV40 camper van. Now, the first part of the video, uh, or video one in the series of three if you like, was taking out the step and there was quite a lot involved with there. It was quite nerve wracking at times, but I got the job done. So that step came out. The second video was all about getting a joiner to cut a little trap door or a, a hatch in the floor so that I could access that storage space when I needed to. So this is the third video in the series of three, and this is all about tidying up, finishing the job off, putting some vinyl flooring down on the step to, to reinstate the floor, and getting the job all finished off. So, like I say, if you are new to the channel, you might want to go check out the two previous videos. And if you are coming back to the channel today to see the third part, then thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Please consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, or leaving a comment. It really does help my channel, and it costs you nothing. Okay? So, thank you very much again. Before I go any further, I'd just like to say it's a little bit chilly in here. Call me soft if you like. But I'm in the northeast of England, it's a little bit of a chilly day, so before I go any further, I'm going to go and throw a sweatshirt on so I can keep warm while I'm making this video. I'm not a quick change artist, it's all done with the magic of video. Okay, so see you in a bit, thanks for watching, I'll be back soon. I've got a bit of a dilemma I think, I'm not sure what to do at this point in time. I want to put this line all down and here's the dilemma. Do I take the board out, lay the line all on top, and cut round it first before I glue it or do I use the old piece of lino as a template and cut round that I've then got to find somewhere big enough to rest the board to get the lino on top and get the line straight I think I'm going to go with option B take the board out lay the lino on top uh, before I glue anything cut round the outside edge and we'll go from there what could go wrong? <laughs> okay so I figure I've already got a straight edge to cut to and I've drawn around the wood. I've put it face down on top of here. I've drawn around it. I'll show you that now. I'm going to try cutting it with scissors. I don't know how neat it'll make it with scissors, but you, you never know until you try, do you? This is going to take a while. Okay, I've done all the trimming I'm going to do. I think I've got it perfect there now. It certainly looks okay. Uh, I've, been <laughs> I've been snipping around with these, uh, the kitchen shears. I've been snipping around with them. You'd think I was diffusing a bomb. I was that nervous. I'm sweating. But I think I've got it in place now. Um, so I'm going to stick this down before I try to cut this hatch, I think. Am I doing the right thing here? Hmm. Time for the glue. Thank you. 
so that's it all done hopefully I've done a decent job it seems to be stuck down nicely and it's nice and trim to the edges uh, it's just a case now of cutting the hatch in which I think is probably going to be the hardest part So that's the floor back down. Uh, I need to find some way of rounding this hole off properly uh, because it's a little bit raggy edged but it works and there's the storage space. It's a nice little trap door that. Once I get the edge strip on it'll separate it and give it like a sort of a separate area if you like. I'm happy with this space that's been made. I think it's been a worthy project and I'll get these screws put in now and see where we go. See if it takes me weight. You ready? Just in case I go straight through. Oh, ow. there you go. I'm stood on that with all my weight and I'm nearly 16 stone. But if Julie asks, I'm uh, 14 and a half stone. Absolutely brilliant. I'm over the moon with that. So let's crack on. But that doesn't actually fasten down to anything it just sits on top of the step to, to, to ease the ridge and make a neat join and then the carpet was stuck down on the top So just to give you one last look before the battery runs out, the trim's back on the edge there, trim's back on the edge there, just need to put the backs on these seats and have a good tidy up and we'll be all done. Put the carpet back down, which is in the washer. So yes, nearly there. Okay, it's really windy, so you're probably going to get a lot of wind noise from this. Uh, the batteries ran out on my GoPro camera, so I'm just using my mobile phone now, just so I can show you what I've done. It's all back together, the backs are back on the chairs, as you can see there and there. This little trim's back on the side, and it didn't really matter about that bit that I snapped underneath there. You can't see it, and it, it, it's solid, it doesn't move at all, so there's no rattles there. Uh, what I've done to put this lino down and I'm going to call it line or because I can't remember to keep saying vinyl flooring as uh, I've put these screw caps in the top now not everybody will like that I'm sure it's going to be a little bit controversial but I like it because it means that if I want to get to any storage space underneath this floor apart from the bit that I've made here that lifts up and there's the little storage space there I think you'll like that um, if I want to get any other space under there, it means I've got five screws to take out. I don't have to take that lino or vinyl flooring off again. I just need to take them five screws out and the whole piece of wood will lift out. To be honest with you, these little screw caps don't bother me. So there you go. As you can see, the new piece of flooring in, the new trap door. And I'm going to get some kind of little cap to put in the hole here because it's a bit untidy that hole I think to be honest with you it just looks like a dirty hole in the floor uh, so some kind of trim to go around the top of the hole there would finish that off lovely so watch this space for that but that's it I hope you've enjoyed this little series of modifications uh, ripping it all out was nerve-wracking I'll be honest but putting it back in has been really satisfying George has been on the job he's done a cracking job hoovering round Although I think you might have missed a little bit there, George. See that little bit of white there? I'll get that in a minute. Um, and now all it needs is just the carpet button back in. And we're all finished. As you can see, it's a different colour. 
it's more of a it's a warm sort of more of a yellowy color i think than the original florin there's the original one and there's that one and to compare them side by side there's not much in it it's a just slightly different pattern that's sort of a, a straight wood grain type pattern and that's more of a motley effect but i like it and like i say it's a separate little area anyway you can see that trap door i'm well aware of that but by the time i put the carpet on top you won't be able to see it and you won't even know it's there but there you go storage for my shoes or julie's shoes okay so thanks very much for watching i'll finish this video off here okay thanks very much for watching this little series of videos it's been my pleasure to do although taking the flooring out on the first video was quite a nerve-wracking experience uh, not knowing where it was going to go and how difficult it was going to be however uh, it's all back in place now and i'm pleased with the end result it's uh, it was nerve-wracking to start with but very satisfying to finish off uh, and as I've shown you there in the video, it's turned out quite nice. I'm very happy with how it's turned out. So, just to get the carpets down, and that's me done for today. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up to just to show your appreciation. If you want to subscribe to my channel, it's free of charge. You don't get charged for subscribing, um, but it does help my channel grow. So click that subscribe and click the notification bell and you'll be told when my next video is due out. Okay, I'll keep you updated. Thanks very much for watching today. See you soon. Bye.